All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. And now, one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Laguna Hills, California, presenting the challenger, the professional. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Kamal King. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. They will trade kicks. It's gonna be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Beautiful punch. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And they separate. Oh, caught him flat. 
flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he hurt Bell and Jeff. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And they separate. Head kick. Dribbling uppercut for him there. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch with clinch. And they separate. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Straight punch lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Right punches there. Blocks the shot. Nice kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, massive kick, didn't see that one coming. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Head kick partially blocked. Big kick lands. Just misses there with the left. Nice loop and punch. Just missed with the straight left hand. So does the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. And he caught the kick. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now. It is defensive because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the car. He blocks the shot. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Spinning back fist. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Straight right hand now just missed. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks. Real good job with the leg kicks, just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good advantage. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, beautiful. 
powerful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Lands flush with that right hand. Superman punch now. Oh, single collar tie here. Beautiful strike. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And they separate. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? You hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighter. You get an underhook on one side, a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safe position, especially for a wrestler. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big call to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Huge liver kick! That might do it! Defensively blocks the shot. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make it pay for it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? So there it is. Taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's going right from the chin, too. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. And a nice shot to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Nice hammer fist. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here at DC. This could be the beginning of the game. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your point. Strong defense there to block the shot. 
All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC, a lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Misses with the right hand. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore because the board starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight over here tonight. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. What a punch. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Now connects with a right. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the ladder. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Goodness, what a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Come back well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.